안녕하세요. I'm Steve Kim from Korea and we are KUNESCO Adventurers. <웃음> KUNESCO Adventures is a project they started in 2020 where foreigners expect to travel all over Korea to discover UNESCO World Heritage in this beautiful country. And this year our adventurers tried many different things starting from traditional mass dance to learning Shila's history and we beat each other in Taekyeon fight as well. And today we're going to talk about one of the most enjoyable things in life. What it is? That is food. Food! I love food! So let's go discover today's adventures. Let's go! <laughs> Today we came to Kim Chigan, which is the first food museum of South Korea that was selected as one of the best food museums of the world by CNN. And today we come here with a special mission and that is to learn everything we can about kimchi. I bet that almost everyone knows about kimchi, right? But do you know about kimchi? It's actually the process of making and sharing kimchi in Korea. Did you guys know in 2013, kimchi was registered as UNESCO Intangible World Heritage of Humanity? Let's go find out what's so special about the process. Let's go! Kimjang has a rich history and kimchi is an essential part of Korean culture and Korean everyday lives. And by everyday lives, do you really mean it? You can find at least one kind of pickled vegetables even in fusions and international cuisine restaurants. And if you go to a shikdang, which is a Korean restaurant, you can find a big variety of kimchi there. Kimchi marinade consists of many different ingredients and fortunately we can find them easily in the supermarkets. However, traditionally, the preparations take as long as one whole year. In the spring, Korean people, they capture and prepare streams and anchovies for the salting because they're using the marinade. In the summer, they buy sea salt for the brine, dry red chili peppers and grind them into powder. Finally, late autumn is the season for kimchi, where families gather all together and prepare huge amounts of kimchi to eat it throughout the winter and to share with their neighbors too. Yeah, and this sharing tradition comes all the way down for generations and surprisingly, even in this, this 21st century, they still follow it. Well, because caring is caring! Oh, that's so cute! A whole timeline of the history of kimchi. I love this kind of animation. Yay! Pek <laughs> kimchi. Pek meaning white. That's the white one. Yeah, that's right. I heard about it, yeah. Now the other one. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, there's a big Whoa. screen oh, there. I, have to, I want to see this. Does it work? Is it working? Mm. I think you can see the live probiotics inside kimchi. If you get to know Korea a bit closer, you know that sharing forms a huge part of the country's culture and national spirit. Kim Jong unites families and passes down the sharing culture through history. You know something really interesting? That people actually, they check the weather conditions, the weather forecast wow. to check the best date and the best weather conditions to make kimchi. Wow. And the kimchi recipe, they go from generations to generations. In a lot of Korean households, they actually have a huge uh, kimchi refrigerator to keep the kimchi during all the winter. Wow. And so today, we are going to be a part of this wonderful tradition. And we're going to go try kimjang together. It's fall season, right? Hi. Perfect timing. Let's go. <laughs> to show our cutting skills. Oh my god. So, we have radish here. What we're going to treat we're going to do, we're going to cut it like like this. Like these tiny little pieces. All right, we're going to start with the gochugeol, the chili powder. 
Have you ever tried to eat this? No! Not like that. <laughs> Next is ginger. Alright, that big. Mmm, the ginger. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. I think I remember my mom bringing like big, big buckets. And I get to sit. Um, sit next to my mom making kimjang and she like give me like, ah <laughs> so cute <laughs> So this apparently is the sauce. This right here. And you see that? This is the sauce. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put this on the back side. You gotta feel the cabbage too. Yes, it's a it's a really special moment between us. I feel the connection. Oh, okay. So what, what you do, you fold it in half. So except for the last leaf or last few leaves at the bottom, we're gonna fold it in half. Amanda, how was the Kim Jong adventure? Oh my god, I learned it a lot and I made a lot of kimchi, so I right? had a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it was a fun day indeed. All right, guys, unfortunately, we have to go now, but don't forget, we have very fun episodes coming up on K UNESCO Adventures. See you guys again. See you, bye bye. 배추 김치 하면 은 한국인이 굉장히 많이 알고 있고 외국인들도 많이 먹는 김치 중에 하나입니다. 그래서 실제 김치에는 다양한 재료가 들어가는데 오늘은 대표적인 배추 김치이기 때문에 주재료인 배추 그리고 이제 부재료로 무와 쪽파 